A Dallas police officer who was critically injured in the line of duty was honored by the department for his courage in overcoming his injuries and returning to work. So in 2018, Officer Brandon Barber was outside his cruiser working a traffic accident when another driver hit him. He is still recovering but continues to work for the department. Fox 4 Stephen Dial has more on Officer Barber's recovery and the honor he received today. Stephen. Steve Barber's family was told that he shouldn't even be alive right now, yet he's back at work working as an officer for the Dallas Police Department following that 2018 crash, and he received a special award today. My injuries were so traumatic that the doctors told my parents and the department that I wouldn't be able to survive, and if I did survive, I would live in a adult. A 24 hour of the health care facility in a vegetative state. Dallas police officer Brandon Barber is a prime example of someone who doesn't give up. Early in the morning on October 21st, 2018, he was working a traffic accident on I 20. Barber was outside of his squad car putting out flares when police say Boniface Madubuco drove around the traffic markers and hit Barber. Madubuco was arrested and charged. Barbara was critically injured. Four years later, he is still an officer working in the records division. Despite what has happened, your story is a story of not only adver overcoming adversity, but you're really a story of hope. Tuesday, Barbara was presented with the Theodore Roosevelt Association Award for the Texas chapter. A Dallas officer is selected annually who continues to provide praiseworthy service despite serious injuries or illness. As a child, I knew I wanted to protect and serve my community that was near and dear to my heart. I have completed just that. Though I can no longer patrol the streets of Dallas, I'm still a police officer. Barbara was supposed to receive the award in 2020, but that's when the pandemic hit. The life-altering incident came at a time when the Dallas Police Department lost multiple officers. Executive Assistant Chief Albert Martinez got emotional talking about that year and Barber's determination. So I can't tell you personally how wonderful it is, Brandon, just to have you stand up here and read, because we didn't see that that night after everything we've been through. Barber says he takes nothing for granted as he lives what he calls his second opportunity to live. Life is not always about winning. It's about when you're faced with adversity and how you, how well you overcome those adversities. My life goal now is to take full advantage of my second opportunity to live. What a comeback story, right? As for the man charged with hitting Barber, his trial is set for May 12th.